Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMadeVince.com and in this video today we're going to be trying to fix this doorbell here which doesn't work, but the weird thing is, watch this spin it and now it works so there's obviously some issue with the contacts in there where it has to be spun the problem is it doesn't look nice like that because everybody wants it to be nice and straight for people's OCD so let's get this undone and see what's wrong with it Right, so the wires are fine, so let's get this out on the mat and see what's wrong. Right, so here we have it here, and it looks like it looks like it's kind of full of some sort of wax, but I think it's just plastic, and it unscrews. Right, so it's a very simple device. All that's happening is when you press this in here, this is just on a little spring, when you press this in here, it's just touching those two bits against those two bits. So I think what's happening is, if you look closely, it just looks like there's... It's just corrupt. It's not just. It's just dirt, isn't it? So by having it like that, it's probably touching against those two bits. I'm wondering. I'm just around my brother's house at the moment. It's his doorbell. Do you think this was caused by some sort of arcing? Because it looks a bit black. Doubt it. No, it, it, it is a transformer one, but I, I can't see there be that much power. Uh, power in its uh, arc. Yeah, maybe yeah. not. It definitely looks kind of dirty. So maybe originally it was when it's straight. You see. Mm. If those two bits were touching against the black bits, they're not going to be making a good contact. And then just by spinning this round to there, you're, these two bits haven't changed, remember, they're in the same position. And then they're going to be touching a cleaner bit of metal. So I think this is just going to be a case of getting IPA and giving it a good clean. And I think then it should work fine after that. These look like they're just held in place by uh, pressure. In fact, we can push those down a bit further. But we don't want to go too far because otherwise they'd be going off all the time. Yeah, let's get the IPA out and give it a, a nice good clean. So we're using 99.9% alcohol, and I've got a little flux brush here, but you can use something like a toothbrush. And I'm just going to be rubbing it all around in here to try to get rid of some of that black, and then also I think we're probably going to just use a bit of a fiberglass brush just to give it a bit of a clean up. I'm also going to do these uh, bits here as well because they don't look very clean. It's a shame there's not a little groove in there to keep the press sign straight rather than constantly being able to, to swivel. Okay, check that out, it's come up really nice and clean now. So let's just give it one more clean with the IPA. I think this is going to be a really nice, easy, simple fix. Right, well there's no reason now that that won't make a good contact no matter where it is. So what we're going to do is going to get the multimeter out just to check for continuity just before we put it back onto the actual door frame itself. Right, so let's screw this back in. Just pop these in here. Hopefully it's going to work. Yeah, but you have to go to full travel. Yeah, so that's not ideal. Right, let's uh, put it back to how it was. But at least we know if somebody presses it hard. Yeah. Then uh, let's go to there, which is where I think it feels right. Yes. Well, yes. Okay. So let's look at the wires in the holes. Not working. When it's when it's straight, it's not working. Hold on. No, not weird. Yeah. I think I, I've, I've had this part before. I think I had the same problem before, and I gave up on it. Well, how's that possible? So let's go all the way. But you know what? That's. Uh, People might not press it harder than that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Right, let's uh, take it apart again. So it must be uneven. Maybe, yes, yes, it's quite badly made. This, this plate it. is probably not coming up 100% straight. It's 
Yeah, and it's touching one and not the other. That's it, and in certain... See, look, it's not straight there when you look at it. It's not... No, it's, it's not. It's kicked over a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you're not going to sand it all down to get to the same level, so... The only thing is, if we put the button straight... I'll tell you what we'll do. Push it in too we'll much, then push it there. It should find its correct level then, won't it, when it's straight? Yeah, but that's what we did, but then you see the person... Was the button to... straight? We the... just pushed the button anyway. Uh, no, the button was straight. Well, was it? Near enough, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. Uh, how about if we take these out and just spin them 180, just in case... Do you see what I mean? They might have kind of gone... Yeah. They might not be perfectly flat. If we spin it around the other way, it might make a better contact. Yeah. I, I think it's mainly this thing here. I think it's because it's, it's, it's skewed away. Right. These don't really want to come out anyway. Hey, yes, they do. Spin it 180. Really, these need to be glued. Yeah, we glue successfully into that nylon -y material though. Hmm. No. Let me just try screwing it down. It's the same as it was before. Oh, no. Let me just try screwing it down. That's really weird. Oh. Let's try that now. Well, let's, uh, should we undo these and actually get the probes fully in there? Okay. As long as it works when it's straight. Yeah, but then if somebody moves it. Well then, you could say the same thing now as nowhere. What's that? Yeah, I know, but I'm not sure there's going to be a solution to it. Really weird. No, it's because the, the... It's not on a spring. No, but the the, the plate that's attached to this yeah. is put on crooked. Yes. So So it's never going to attach to both of them unless you press really, really, really hard to Well, it to will attach it. to in one position because yeah. you'll be able to adjust these things at the back because they yeah, push yeah, in yeah. and out. But the minute it turns, obviously that plate is now moved into a different... Yeah, or it's sure. going to start missing them. But do you think now somebody's going to be pressing... See, see what I mean? It's not. It's a bit inconsistent. Right, I'll just try to push it down a bit more. I don't want to break it. <coughs> OK, try that now. I mean, there we go. So basically, it's the same as it was before, apart from now it's going to be straight rather than crooked. Hopefully, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, OK, so we've been messing around with it for a while and the problem is it's crudely made. So when you press this in here, there's a little plate that presses against the two prongs with the two wires that go off to the doorbell. And uh, because the plate isn't perfectly flat, but yet these two are, then what can happen is sometimes when you turn this, so for example, when this gets spun, the plate moves and then it might be perfect here, but then the plate moves to here and then it's not perfect anymore. And you move this way and it's not perfect, move here and it's back to perfect again. And as well as that, the problem is, if you were to press this really hard, you can see what's going to happen. So if somebody comes along and presses that really hard, watch these two pop out. There you go, yeah? So now it may still work like this. Sometimes it does, but sometimes it doesn't. And again, every time you move this because the plate is not perfectly square, it's going to cause that problem again. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to push them in to what feels comfortable because that kind of feels uh, that kind of feels about right. Let's do a little bit more. There we go. So we want it to work when it's straight like that. We're going to put a little bit of glue on here. So we're just going to Google what's the best glue to use. I think we're just going to use some epoxy because this looks like it's nylon. And then we're going to glue this to here and this to here. Try to put a bit of glue in the middle. And then maybe it might just help it a little bit. If somebody comes along and presses that really hard, these are going to probably pop out again. But right now, when I put it onto continuity, it is doing what it's supposed to do in the upright position like that. Yep. So really, there's nothing else we can do. It's just a bit of a poor design. 
Okay, so we read up and there's a few different options you can use. You can use super glue, so that's what we're going to do now because it's uh, nice and easy to do. So I'm going to be just putting a dot of super glue here, here and in the middle, and then I'm going to use this super glue activator just to make it set nice and quick. Right, I think that will do to begin with. Now let's spray this on and you'll see it will just go rock hard. That's set, so now I'm just going to put another layer on top of that. If somebody really forced this, it's going to come out again, but just through normal use, hopefully, it will make it a little bit better. Okay, so we're just going to leave that now for about a minute or so, and then we'll put it back on the door, and hopefully it'll be working fine. Right, so one final test when we press it. It appears to be working fine, so we're going to put it back together now, and hopefully it will stay working. lined up now nice and straight and success it's working and you don't have to press it that hard so it's okay I'm not sure how long that's gonna last I think it probably would be best just to buy a new doorbell but still kind of interesting one just to show you how something which is cheaply made can actually cause you quite a bit of bother so that is it for this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more trying to fix videos take care bye now Thank you.